LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. As you can see, Falcon 9 has successfully Power telemetry nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. We're going to throttle the nine Merlin engines down in preparation for max Q or, ma supersonic. or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see during ascent, so slowing it down a little bit will help the vehicle pass through that short period. Max Q. And there we heard the call out for max Q. Now in about a minute, we're gonna have three events happen in quick succession back to back. Everything continues to look nominal there with that vehicle trajectory. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. All right, there on your screen. Ignition and throttle up complete. As the MVAC nozzle begins to develop that bright glow, we can see that all three events, like I said, quick succession. Um, on the left-hand side of your screen, we have the first stage. Uh, in the background behind the first stage, I absolutely love this view, we got some night lights of the Space Coast behind it. Uh, the first stage is actually... Fairing separation confirmed. Uh, there we heard the call out for fairing step, and we can see that stack of Starlink satellites there. Great views. So there we can see that second stage uh, vacuum engine. This engine will power the second stage to its targeted orbit. What you can't see on screen is the other end of the second stage where the 60 Starlink satellites are stacked and awaiting deployment later on in our mission this morning. Starlink satellites operate over 60 times closer to the Earth than traditional satellites, resulting in much lower latency. For those of you that might not be familiar, latency is the time that it takes to send data from one point to the next. So in this context, it's the time it takes to send data. Second stage is following a nominal trajectory. Good call out there for nominal trajectory for second stage. Everything continues to look stage good. Stage two FTS is saved. Everything continues to look good there with second stage. Nominal orbit insertion. And just like that, we heard confirmation of a good orbit. First stage is going to execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. If you look closely, you can still see the night lights of the Space Coast there in the upper left corner. The first of the two burns that First Stage will execute is the entry burn, where three of the M1D engines will reignite. This will help to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Startup. Stage one, entry burn startup. And there we can see on your screen, startup of that first of two burns, the entry burn. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. And shut down of those three engines. The second burn is the landing burn. This is a single engine burn that brings the vehicle speed. Signal permito. That brings the speed down rapidly in order to land on the drone ship. As the name suggests, uh, this is when we'll be attempting to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently holding position 
a, a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic. Transonic. A couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean. Also signal stage one, Cape Canaveral expected. Stage one landing burn. So we heard the call out that the landing burn for stage one has begun. We can start to see the plume there on our drone ship cam on the left hand side of your screen. Hopefully we'll be able to maintain video signal through landing. Stage one landing leg deploy. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we weren't able to maintain that video signal. We'll, we'll bring that back to you as soon as we can, as well as a status update on that landing. Do you want landing leg deploy? Okay, the landing legs are out. Terminal guidance. Everything continues to look stage good. Stage two FTS is saved. Everything continues to look good there with second stage. Stage one landing confirmed. All right, we heard it, we couldn't see it, but we did hear verbal confirmation that we had a successful landing of that booster. So at this point, stage two is going to coast for a little bit, actually for the next 35 minutes or so. So hang tight, we'll see you back here at T plus 45 minutes for a second stage relay. Welcome back to our live coverage for this Starlink mission and getting ready for SES2 or second engine start two in just a couple of seconds. We have another coast phase before we deploy this next batch of Starlink satellites into orbit. While this happens, sit back and enjoy some space jams. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour and four minutes. Welcome back once again to our live coverage. And as for our second stage, which you see there on your screen, we've successfully executed two burns of that MVAC engine, and we're now getting ready to deploy our Starlink satellites. Starlink deploy confirmed. And there you can see on your screen the tension rod being released and the Starlink satellites are slowly separating away from the second stage. And with that, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and FAA for supporting this mission. And to all our viewers, happy Pi Day and thanks for joining us.